Hello, Facebook. It's Bill, the knee pain guru. This morning, I would like to talk about uh, meniscus tears, and that uh, not all meniscus tears are created equal, and why this is really important. I just got a call from um, someone out of Canada, and they're, they have a two-thirds of their meniscus is torn, and the doctor is telling this person that they can't operate on the meniscus, which it makes sense. They're going to remove the majority of the meniscus, which is going to be really difficult uh, in, in terms of walking, especially when that much of the meniscus is removed from the knee. Um, then they're looking at my program, which I'm talking about comfort and how that's how the body heals. When the body is comfortable, that's when the body uh, is able to heal itself the fastest. So they're like, well, you say this program works as long as the meniscus isn't torn. And I'd like to make a distinction there. And this is very, very important in terms of approaching pain in the knee and having a torn meniscus. Think of a torn meniscus like a hangnail. And every time you move, you know, you, you're putting a, putting a sweater on and you catch that hangnail, it's going to cause pain because you're tugging on that torn nail. This is important. The fact that a torn meniscus can be a millimeter, tiny amount, and a torn meniscus can be like this person that called me from Canada that has two-thirds of the meniscus torn. Meniscus can be, a tear can be vertical, it could be horizontal, it could be diagonal. They could have a bucket handle tear on the meniscus, which is um, around the, the edge of the meniscus. It, it completely tears. So not all meniscus tears are the same. But the principle or the concept that it, a torn meniscus is like a hangnail applies to all of those. So as long as you're not moving in a way that's catching the hangnail or catching the torn meniscus, then your knee will, won't, most likely won't hurt. However, the moment that you catch it, the moment that you move or twist or step a certain way that catches that torn meniscus, the pain's going to come back. So now this leads me back to understanding my program. My program focuses all around creating comfort in the knee. If there's comfort in the knee, it sets up the conditions that the body is able to heal itself. Neurologically speaking, when the body is more comfortable, all of the mechanisms that allow the body to heal faster are online. It just happens much faster when you're not in pain. Here is the catch, pun intended, with meniscus. If there's a torn meniscus, you can create comfort in the knee, which will relieve the pain in the knee. But the moment you catch the torn meniscus, to whatever degree it's torn, the knee's gonna go back into pain. So it's not that, it's not that, um, it's not that the program can't work. However, we have to manage expectations. You need to understand what the dynamics of what's going on in the knee when a meniscus is torn. You can create comfort but the moment you catch that piece of torn meniscus, the knee's going to most likely go back into pain. That's what I had to share today. Karen, you're actually, just to make a distinction here, this is not the program call. This is general information call. Um, so you're in a different group. This is with um, the knee pain guru. Whereas you're in the Quit Your Quack program, so you are the only one from the program here. So, 
uh, and getting out of knee pain is all about distinctions and nuances. There's specific, um, when we're only talking about the nerves, the width of an eyelash, just having um, a little bit off in terms of creating comfort in the knee can still lead to knee and pain. Anyhow, okay, that's what I had to share today. If you have any questions, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, there's Ali, Linda, Jennifer, Karen, Bill, and Sangoma. Uh, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments section below. If you're watching the video, give it a thumbs up, a like and subscribe to my channel, The Knee Pain Guru. And you can also head over to thekneepainguru.com and take the seven day knee pain reduction challenge. That'll give you some actual tools that you can begin working with your knee to give you relief in your knee and um, move you along the line of setting up the condition so the body is able to heal what's going on in the knee. Uh, also, share this video with your friends, the ones that you know have knee pain. Share this with them. That'll help them out. Um, so, Karen, I answered your question. If there aren't any more questions, I'm going to scoot. I have some other things I need to get into this morning. For those that are watching this video uh, through my newsletter, head over to this side of the page and sign up for one of my programs. There's the comfort zone, which would be a great place for you to start relieving the pain in your knee. There's also the next uh, Quit Your Quack. It's a six-week knee pain relief program. That's starting May 28th. So if you want, there's um, 10 spots available. Already one is filled, and we are about a month out. So it looks like it's really going to fill pretty early this time. So you want to go over there and sign up. Um, then that includes a knee club call, the knee club calls. And the next call is going to be May 7th. So that's going to be, uh, what is it, about five days, something like that. So it's all support. You get interaction with me. I point out distinctions and nuances to help you through getting out of pain. So like the video, subscribe to my channel, The Knee Pain Guru. Share this with your friends. And thank you so much. I will see you on tomorrow's video.